In this video tutorial, I will show you what trunk ports are and how to configure the trunk port. Let's start the video. Welcome to Star Technology 5G. You can see in this network diagram. We have two different network switches with different network devices and both network switches use the same VLAN. For example, if this laptop want to communicate with this server, click on this laptop. And if I ping 192.168.10.254 Request timeout Packets Sent 4, received 0, lost 4 He cannot access the server There is no physical connection between them What do we have to do? We need to connect the switch to this switch with a cable. What type of cable do we have to use? We need to use crossover cable. Select the crossover cable. Click on this switch. Click on Gigabit Ethernet 1. Click on this switch and click on Gigabit Ethernet 1. Why did we use crossover cable? Remember, when we connect two of the same types of devices, we always use a crossover cable. And when we connect two different types of devices, we use straight cable. Like this laptop and network switch. Both are different devices. Now both switches are connected with a cable. This cable is called a trunk cable. And the port to which the cable is connected is called the trunk port. What is a trunk port? A trunk port is a specific type of port on a network switch that allows data to flow across a network. A trunk port allows you to send all device data to a single trunk link. The trunk port needs high bandwidth because it will carry all switch data. If we use fast Ethernet port it will support only 100 megabits per seconds that is not enough for trunk port. This is the reason we use gigabit Ethernet port it support 1000 megabits per seconds. A trunk port can transmit data from multiple VLANs. If you have a dozen VLANs on a particular switch, you don't need additional cables for each VLAN, one trunk link is enough. How will it send all data to a single link? Trunk ports use tagging in order to allow packets to get to the correct endpoint. For example, if this laptop wants to communicate with the server, it will send a data packet with a destination IP address. The switch will now forward this packet to the trunk port. Trunk port, add a VLAN tag and forward this packet to another switch. When switch received this packet, he will remove the VLAN tag and forward this packet to VLAN 10. And to the final destination. Now we will configure this gigabit ethernet port as a trunk port. Click on switch 1. CLI. Enter. Enable. Configure terminal. Interface, gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1. Switch port mode Question mark Access Set trunking mode to access unconditionally In this mode, the port will work as an access mode Dynamic Set trunking mode to dynamically negotiate access or trunk mode In this mode, the port will work as a trunk or as an access mode Trunk Set trunking mode to trunk unconditionally in this mode, the port will work as trunk mode. Switch port mode trunk. Line protocol on interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1, changed state to down. Line protocol on interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1, changed state to up. First changed state to down. Then it changed its state to up. Switch port trunk allowed VLAN question mark Unrecognized command Switch port trunk Question mark Allowed set allowed VLAN characteristics when interface is in trunking mode Native set trunking native characteristic when interface is in trunking Allowed Question mark VLAN Question mark Word VLAN IDs of the allowed VLANs when this port is in trunking mode. Add. 
Add VLANs to the current list. All. All VLANs. Except. All VLANs except the following. None. No VLANs. Remove. Remove VLANs from the current list. I will allow all VLAN. All. Now trunk port allows all VLANs. Exit. We have to do the same configuration on the other switch. Click on switch 2. CLI. Enter. Enable. Configure terminal. Interface. Gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 1. Switch port mode trunk. Switch port trunk allowed VLAN all. Exit. Now we will check our configuration. Click on this laptop. Command prompt. Press up arrow key. Ping 192.168.10.254. This time, the laptop is pinging the server IP address. Click on this laptop. Desktop. Command prompt. And ping 192.168.20.1. It is pinging. The trunk port is working fine. We ping this PC IP address. We have to configure the trunk port on both switches, and then it will work properly. I will remove the trunk configuration on this switch. Interface, Gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 1. Whenever you want to remove any configuration, just write no in front of the command. No switch port mode trunk. This command remove the trunk configuration. First it will down the link then it will change its state to up. Switch port mode dynamic question mark, space question mark, auto, set the trunking mode dynamic negotiation parameter to auto. Dynamic auto makes the port willing to convert the link to a trunk link. The port becomes a trunk port if the neighboring port is set to trunk or dynamic desirable mode. This is the default mode for some switches. Desirable. Set the trunking mode dynamic negotiation parameter to desirable. Dynamic is desirable make the port actively attempts to convert the link to a trunk link. The port becomes a trunk port if the neighboring port is set to trunk, dynamic desirable, or dynamic auto. Switch port mode, dynamic auto. Exit. In this switch, trunk mode is dynamic auto. In this switch, Port mode is the trunk. Now both switch ports work as trunk ports. Both links are up. Click on this PC, desktop, command prompt, ping 192.168.10.2. Now it is pinging. The trunk port is working fine. As you saw in this video, we used two different trunk port configurations. Both configurations are working fine. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to Star Technology. Please like and share the video.